Hello there everybody, this is Data Pioneer here with the Linux Unix Tech Channel and on today's program I'm going to introduce you to a new operating system that I'm looking at called Extern OS. It's in beta right now and we'll get into that. But I also wanted to let you know it's been about a month since I've been on the channel and you probably are wondering where I've been. Uh, and just to let you know, I have been battling health issues uh, with a uh, extremely bad bout of vertigo and dizziness. Uh, which has prevented me from getting on the channel. And I've been seeing a therapist for it, and uh, I think the physical therapist has figured out what's wrong with me, and um, I'm back now at least 99%. Uh, so I'm going to be back up on the channel and producing more videos. So I just want to let you know. And um, so let's get into it right after this. Okay, I'm back out on the website now for Xturn, and it is at xternos.io. You're looking at the home page now. Um, I uh, t took a look at this uh, uh, operating system. I've downloaded the, uh, the ISO for it. I've installed it. I'm not going to go through the install with you today. Um, you can just download um, the ISO from this link right here, which is the download page. Uh, for downloading it. You can download it now here uh, from this link uh, and then run the install and you've got two different options to run it uh, either DVD or USB um, and you can get the do the download for the uh, bootable USB creator if you want to do that for if you've got Debian. I'm running uh, Farron OS. Uh, you can uh, put in that command right there and get the creator. Uh, I believe I used uh, Belena Etcher for mine. Uh, you can do the same but um, if you want to do that and uh, take a look at it and uh, that will give you a uh, bootable version of it you can put it in your uh, virtual machine or you can um, uh, put it on bare metal now this is in beta uh, keep that in mind it says here important beta 2.2 will not run properly in a VM I've been running it in VirtualBox 6.0 I haven't had any issues with it uh, so far that I can see uh, so I don't think that's really anything to worry about per se um, let's go back to the home page and um, I'll show you that in a moment but let's go on down the page here this is uh, extern OS beta 2 it's designed for your content and the interesting thing about uh, beta 2 of extern OS is it's powered by nw.js so it's JavaScript powered, um, and it says here complete support for Node.js APIs and all third-party modules. Call Node.js modules directly from the DOM and Web Workers JavaScript support protection. Minimum requirements for this operating system, by the way, is an Intel Celeron 64-bit 1.2 gigahertz or equivalent with two gigabytes of RAM, uh, VGA-capable display of 1366 by 768 screen resolution, uh, internet connectivity uh, required, obviously. And um, then about me here, it says my name is uh, Anesu Chudesi. I am passionate about technology and software. Currently a computer engineer and computer science student at RMIT University. And over here on the brief summary for the operating system, he has Extern is an operating system that offers a unique user interface and user experience compared to traditional systems. In addition, it is powered by JavaScript and takes advantage of the power of Node modules, uh, making the possibilities of app development endless. Okay, so check it out. Let me uh, let's get on the uh, site itself. Here I'm on uh, my virtual machine 6.0 manager. I'm uh, getting ready to log into Extern here. So let me go ahead and do that. As I mentioned, it uh, installed very easily um, in uh, VirtualBox 6.0 Manager. Came right up for me and hasn't given me any issues so far. Uh, keeping my fingers crossed. 
uh, logging in now and uh, it does take a little while to log in but when we log in I'll uh, I'll give you a tour of this operating system let you show what what's available here let you see rather what's available um, so it's coming up now and um, so I'm giving it I've given this thing two gigs of RAM and um, I think a 20 gig VDI hard drive um, if I'm not mistaken and here we are so this is um, extern OS beta 2 uh, says capacity here 21.5 gigabytes uh, free space and then ext4 file system uh, let me go ahead and minimize that right now uh, for the moment so this is the uh, desktop right now uh, that we're in this is files and this is drives uh, if you right click on the desktop it uh, doesn't seem to really do anything, um, which is interesting. Like I said, this is my first run through with Extern OS as well. Looks like it's got promise. Uh, I'm not a JavaScript developer, so I'm not sure I would have much use for it beyond that. Uh, the fact that it uh, does let you get on the web, does let you do things. Uh, we've got this panel down here. Here's my. Uh, uh, my uh, pr profile um, since the this version of IT AI is currently interpreted using uh, mostly interpreted using external OS servers except for reminder requests a fully offline version is in the works and should be available soon uh, so let me click OK um, we have uh, here um, this is the uh, profile in the uh, workspace rather so let me go back here. Uh, here's a calendar, I believe, um, that we have available. And so I'm still in files here. Uh, volume selector, okay. And um, so for volume, and then I've got uh, my internet connectivity and my notifications over here. Um, can't seem to get the calendar to come up beyond 19 February 2020 here. Um, so let's come over. Here is the menu, and on the menu we have dev kit, files, music, photos. We have an app center. So let's go into dev kit here and see what we have. And so you can start a new project, or we can open an existing project. If I click on new project, it asks me. Please type the type of, of project that you want to create, a developer team name, uh, external OS uh, app that you want to uh, look at developing, and your project directory. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. I'm not really going to do any of that. I just want to show you it's available. Um, under files here, I can click that, and um, you can see that we have the desktop here. We have documents, downloads, music, pictures, projects, public templates and videos uh, and those are available here on the menu on the left um, we have the volume here and this is the storage um, I mean the storage here and then the, here is the uh, gigabytes of memory remaining okay for the storage space alright so let's uh, close this come back to the menu again, again and click there's music and um, so when it comes up, we do have uh, a fair amount of music available here that we can get into. I'm not really sure what this player is. It's probably an external player of some kind. Um, your guess is as good as mine, uh, but it, uh, it does work. Uh, I'm not going to play anything, but it does work because of copyright. I'm not going to do anything there. Uh, so let's close that. Uh, if you want to get into photos, you can click photos and you can open an image file from files or equivalent. Um, I don't think I have anything in pictures. Um, so let's click on that. If I double click, um, folder doesn't contain any files. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to show you there. Um, but it, uh, it does have that. A, the App Center here is uh, got some applications that you can look at. Here's the extern OS beta 2.2.2. .2 .2. And um, no new updates are available. You can download 
um, external OS beta 222 from there. All right, let's get back to the menu again, and um, here's the terminal. All right, so I haven't uh, I haven't really experimented with uh, how you get into uh, anything here. Uh, don't think it uses aptitude, but we'll try that uh, update. Uh, let's try this. Yeah, it does use aptitude. It uses the aptitude package manager. Um, not really sure what extern is based on. Um, you'll have to go up on the website at externio, os.io, uh, and, and check it out yourself. It says it has 32 packages that can be upgraded. Let's go ahead and run that. Uh, so let me do a sudo apt upgrade and do a Y switch here so I don't to get prompted. And uh, so it seems like it's oh it's based on Ubuntu Bionic um, so it is based on Ubuntu Ubuntu probably 1804 um, so the repository is Ubuntu Bionic um, seems like it's doing okay uh, with the update so we'll take a look and see how long this takes um, says it has 32 packages that it uh, or 39 packages rather that it grabbed. And so it's extracting those now, it's unpacking them, and then it will be installing. It's got a 7% progress right now on the progress bar. So I'll let this go through, and um, and we'll know we're up to date on it. Um, so far, like I said, uh, extern OS seems to have promise. I, uh, you know, regardless of the warning that I received on the website saying that it will not run properly in a VM it does appear to be running okay in uh, VirtualBox 6.0 um, I'll let this go on all the way through here hopefully it won't take too long uh, I apologize for um, making you sit through this but uh, just bear with me here I don't want to have to pause the video we're at 11% now it's progressing through a little bit faster um, just uh, while this is doing this, let me just tell you also, um, I'm in Farron OS now as my daily driver on the main PC. I'm getting a, uh, an SSD drive coming in pretty soon here in the next couple of days, and I'll be installing it on SSD instead of uh, spinning hard drive. It's a Barracuda 1 terabyte uh, Western Digital. I mean uh, Barracuda. Um, but uh, I'm getting a Western Digital SanDisk uh, 1 terabyte SSD, and it should fly on that. I've got 16 gigs of RAM on this system. I had Windows 10 Pro uh, as my main PC and it fell over. I mean the operating system just stopped working. I believe it was the drive. I believe it was the Western Digital SSD. I do have a backup, but I've, I've decided to switch over to Farron OS as my daily driver. And that's what I'm running uh, this in, in the virtual machine of Farron uh, using VirtualBox 6.0 Manager. Um, and it seems to be doing fine for me. I'm, I'm happy with Farron. Uh, I've been running Linux, you know, on and off various distros, um, of which there are hundreds out there right now available. Uh, I started with Slackware back in 1994, so I've been with Linux for a long time. Uh, and I've progressed through all the distros, including Arch and uh, even uh, Unix uh, BSDs uh, as well, so fairly familiar with all of them. Uh, Ubuntu uh, was uh, my choice for a long time, and of course, uh, Extern OS is based on Ubuntu, as I mentioned here. Uh, I like Ubuntu. There's some things about it I don't like, uh, but uh, for the most part, Ubuntu does what I needed to do. Farron OS, though, is my choice right now, and it, it does everything I wanted to do and more, and so I'm just going to stay with uh, Farron OS for the time being. And uh, I've got all kinds of servers set up in it, including Plex Media and, and that kind of thing. So I'm real happy with that. Okay, so we're at 44% uh, progress right now. And hopefully this will complete here soon. Okay, I'm back out on the uh, Xterm OS Beta 2.2.2 uh, desktop. The um, terminal finally completed, and I've gone ahead and closed it. Uh, it the updates have have uh, completed now and uh, so let's get back into the menu 
wanted to show you um, one other thing here uh, really quickly all in a moment uh, this is the web browser um, I was able to get that to come up finally uh, you know just remember this is a virtual machine and it, they warn you that it's not going to run properly in a VM uh, so you know bear that in mind uh, this is not how it runs on bare metal uh, apparently and so let's look at uh, let me go out onto my website if I can yeah there we go www. Uh, in Linux Veritas dot com and let's take a look at that this is my personal website here and uh, yeah so it's not bad um, this is data pioneer overview let's come down uh, yeah it's giving a little bit of a little bit of a problem um, not too bad though it, it just takes a while to come up and uh, it may be because I've only given it two gigs of RAM not really sure could be because it's in a virtual machine that's probably most likely what it is but uh, the browser does work and it's called uh, Nika in Y I K A so I go ahead and close that and uh, so I hit the menu again looks like that was the last thing available in the menu we've got system and tools at the terminal, Xterm, system performance, system settings. Let's go and click on that. Here's my, uh, I'm in Asheville, North Carolina, 8 degrees Celsius right now. All right, so we've got wallpaper here, appearance, fonts, user profile, hub and desk, uh, display, sound, network, Bluetooth, date and time, file types, credentials, and advanced. Let's go. Let's click on wallpaper and see what we have. Uh, quite a selection, it looks like. Let's go ahead and click on that. See if that changes for us. Um, so if I right click on it, eh, that didn't work. Okay, left click. If I double click, not really sure why it's not selecting. There we go. Okay, so it is a little slow. Uh, granted, um, let's just click that. So it did change our wallpaper for us. That's, that's nice. Um, and you know, this this thing has promise. Um, although there are a few things about it that I am not liking at the moment. But uh, for appearance, if you click on that, we can switch here this uh, sample drop down on and off. Um, Okay, so it's enabled. I could turn that off if I want. Uh, let's go back appearance here. Just have to play with it. You guys will have to pull this up if you want to uh, and take a look at it. Uh, for display, uh, it is showing a 1920 by 1080 monitor screen resolution on the monitor, which is nice. Uh, let's see if I can get this to come up. Okay. I'm not going to play around with that anymore. Let's get out here in displays, sound, uh, user profile fonts, hub and desk, network, date and time. Let's take a look at that. Your current location is Asheville, and I can change that location if I want to. Um, I don't want to, so let's go back. And uh, let's go back to personal, get out of that altogether, and close that. And now over here we have, uh, let's click on that and see what we have. That's the App Center. And it was up earlier. There we go. And so um, multimedia, internet, games. I'm not a gamer. Productivity tools. Um, you can log in to the internet here. Click on internet. And um, not sure what it's doing. All right. Music, video, and files. Let me go ahead and close that out. Uh, this is this is the files, and uh, you can see here we have uh, desktop and documents and downloads and music and pictures. If you click on that, it should bring it up to pictures. 
or you can click on the folder and bring up pictures as well or is it double click double click yeah double click on it and brings up pictures now this is a mounted drives over here this is the external OS using 7.9 gigs remaining of the available storage space and then a total volume of 21 gigs um, all right and so the last thing this is the player here and so this is a quick look at external OS um, available here from externos.io uh, give it a try give it a look I'll put a link down below the video on this and you can um, uh, take a look at it as I said um, I'm just looking at it myself right now and I really haven't gotten into it to any great extent it does look like it does have uh, some promise and uh, may install this on bare metal probably have a better experience give it a look and for yourself and uh, if you like the video go ahead and click the uh, link down below give me a thumbs up on the video if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe hit that bell when you do and um, I'll see you the next time around and this is Data Pioneer for Linux Unix Tech Channel have a great day take care bye bye